Hi, everyone. My name is Matt Ackerson. I'm the CEO of Autogrow.co and the founder, as you may already know. And joined today by Mariana, who I collaborated with on today's article and today's resource, tentatively titled Five Bulletproof Funnel Marketing Strategies to Recession-Proof Your Business. So what we're talking about in today's resource are funnel marketing strategies. Uh, in other words, strategies to systematically optimize and build out your sales funnel so that you can convert progressively more and more people. But uh, the kind of point of view we're taking on it is, you know, how do you take more of a, how do you make these changes uh, as a defensive posture against a, an economy that, hey, maybe down for a little bit. It looks like it's probably gonna come back, but who knows how long that could take. Right now, the economy as of this video is shut down. A lot of people are in quarantine. Uh, all you know, non-essential businesses are said to stay at home. All workers are staying home and everyone's holding on to their money. Everyone's a little bit afraid and a little bit uncertain and uncertainty is really bad for business. So as far as funnel marketing strategies, what can you do and what is in your control uh, without a need to invest in anything expensive, you get a better result. You know, what exactly can you do and what is in your hands? So the article itself, we have five strategies and a bonus. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over our top three. And I encourage you, though, to check out the other three from the article because uh, if you want to read more in depth, there's a bunch of research in there. So the first one, though, Mariana, that we're going to go over, what's the first one that we should go over? Uh, we're going to go over uh, setting up weekly funnel marketing systems and not goals. So I wanted to ask you particularly about it because when we started working on this article, like I was like, oh my God, like what is this? Like what does this refer to? Like funnel marketing. And then it was so simple, you know, how you put it out there. Like, you know, like you need to like not set up your goals and work, you know, like towards them but you need to you know work towards your systems to get you know to achieve that end goal and one of the examples that we talked about was um uh losing weight you know like your end goal is to you know be thin or lose weight but in order to achieve that goal you need to you know follow systems follow a process which is you know having uh, a better diet uh having healthier eating habits or going to the gym and working out, you know, consistently. So how, how does that, you know, apply to funnel marketing? Because it's very easy to, you know, see it in, in our daily lives. Uh, but how does that really apply to funnel marketing? Sure. So I, I think that, you know, funnel marketing and optimization, it's, it's so much about just the little details because all those little details, they add up and they, and they make a difference. But let me just back up for a second and expand on what you were just saying. So the idea, of, the idea is focusing on systems, not goals, because using the analogy of losing weight, uh, to lose 10 pounds or 20 pounds or whatever it is would be a goal. And every moment before you actually achieve that goal, you are failing to achieve it because you just get the, I guess, the satisfaction of having achieved it and maybe that feeling lasts for 20 minutes a day at most and then you're kind of back to whatever. But the idea of a system is that it's something that it's repeatable that you can do. Um, you know, there's plenty of neuroscience behind it that I'm sure that we could cite to, but we're not gonna get into where, you know, your brain just releases dopamine because every time you complete a task, and I, and I kind of play this game with myself every day. You know, I write down my tasks and I'm checking them off. And I like, you know, and I, so I feel a sense of productivity versus like, okay, uh, I want Autogrow to generate a million dollars a month in revenue. Well, it's like, okay, until we hit that goal, it, it can feel like it's, it's out of reach, like we're not, a, like we're not achieving it. So um, another, a better example that more recently, I think, uh, applied to our business in terms of systems, not goals, has been this weekly system of creating a new A-B test on critical pages, critical high traffic pages of our website. And this is something that just about, you know, anyone else can do. Uh, and I say just about anyone else because you want to make sure that you have at least a, um, a uh, kind of a bare minimum amount of traffic 
I would say at least 5,000 monthly visitors uh, to your website. Uh, but there can be another system you set up to help you to constantly grow your traffic to 5,000 and beyond, which I'll talk about in a second. But uh, so the system in this case is, okay, let's run a new A-B test. Let's test out some new messaging. You know, let's test out different features on our pricing packages. Let's test out our copy to, on our How It Works page to make sure it's, it's clear enough for people. And then getting insights from that and saying, oh, wow, like, as in, as in this case, we increased conversions on our homepage. And the homepage is usually like a really high point of leverage for any website. In our case, we increased them by 80%. Um, and, but we were only able to hit that after going through a couple of actually failed tests and then getting to this one where it was like, oh man, like this is a huge increase and a great insight because we can interpret the data as saying, wow, like our target market, our clients, you know, who are in the market for, uh, for auto grow and signing up for auto grow, they really identify with us expressing the problem or the solution in this way. And that one learning can extend and have benefits across the entire funnel. So uh, systems, not goals. And to finish on what I was saying before about traffic, uh, another example of the system for content marketing is exactly what we do here at AutoGrow, which is you know we are publishing articles at the moment two times per week. We're actually looking at ramping that up to five times per week. But again, you know we're not focusing on a specific traffic number. It's about okay, we have this system. And how do we tweak it? How do we move this, this nut and bolt, this, you know, put a new piece, a new tool into the mix, into the engine? How do we make it run faster, uh, get us there faster, sooner, whatever the case is? Um, give, it a, give, give our audience a smoother ride in terms of the quality of the content. So um, systems, not goals. And not only that, uh, but rinsing and repeating, right? That's something that really stood out to me when you said it. Like, it's not only about, you know, getting a healthier habit and do it for a week and that's it. You know, it's like working, you know, every week periodically, you know, you know, to improve that and get more results. So I think that's something really interesting that you, that you mentioned. Yeah. That, and on that point, that you reminded me of a, of a story that I can briefly share with the audience is... You know, there's this, uh, one of my favorite books, pretty much all the books that Jim Collins has written on business, but in particular, one of his more recent books, uh, Great by Choice, Great by Choice, I think it was his most recent book. And he wrote about how companies might start off or get into a phase where they're not doing so well or they're only good, but then they do, they make some sort of changes to become great. And in the beginning of the book, he tells the story of these two groups of explorers at the turn of the 20th century. So around like the early, early 1900s, I believe. And these two groups of explorers wanted each one, the leader of each one, wanted to be the first to get to the South Pole. So they prepared, uh, they made a plan, and one group got up, went to Antarctica, started their trek, and all of them ended up dying, unfortunately. The other group prepared, got up, got to south, uh, rather to Antarctica, started their trek, made it there successfully, and made it back, and didn't lose anyone. Um, and I think that the difference was that one team had this strategy of uh, kind of a rinse and repeat, or a systems-based mindset. Um, in the book, he calls it 20 mile marching. So they would get up, they would march 20 miles every day, and then they would stop. Whether it was snowing like crazy or whatever the case was, just 20 miles every day, stop. And versus the other team, like if the weather was great, hey, they, they, they'd go 50 miles and they would, they would overextend themselves in terms of their energy or whatever the case. And if it was snowing out, well, then they would stop and they would stand still and be stag stagnant and maybe and that was also increasing their risk in terms of the danger of the weather. But anyway, just another illustration of, of systems over goals. So what's the, what's the next strategy? So the next one is getting on video because traditional content marketing is not enough. Uh, this one goes without saying, but, you know, if you have something important to share about this topic, because, you know, people may not realize, like, the huge impact that, you know, getting on video, you know, can have for, you know, people 
be, you know, behind the computer, like reading your blog or checking out your products or services. And how has, has that like worked for out of world? Like we already started like recording these videos to, you know, add uh, to each article. Like how, how can you, you know, explain that to, you know, to the viewers? Sure. So it's, it's amazing because just by adding video to each of our articles and I think people, they can, they can see and they're reminded that, Hey, there are human beings. There's a whole team behind this, uh, this website. And I think it just allows us a more personal way to connect with, with our audience. And it's something that not a lot of other people are doing. Um, I mean, not, not a lot of people are putting out good content in general, but for us to do that and then also to put video, it's, it's, another, it's another layer. And the, what's the result of that though? Well, the result is that we immediately, you know, have seen an increase because uh, we, we paused doing it for a little while and now we're doing it again. We've seen an immediate increase in our traffic. Uh, we've seen an immediate increase in our leads, like more people are, are booking, uh, many more people are booking uh, consultations with us, uh, calling us up, chatting with us, you know, on our, through our uh, live chat widget. Um, and we're just getting a lot more engagement in general. Uh, hundreds of people are, are writing in emails. I, I really don't have, uh, unfortunately, time to personally reply to all of them, at least not in depth. Um, so if you're watching this, I, I appreciate those of you who are following along and sending nice notes and, uh, and things like that. And I hope to work with you if we're not already in the near future. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it, it's, it, we're just able to better connect with everyone. And I think it just builds rapport, builds the relationship, builds trust because you, you really just want to do business with people and with brands who you feel you can trust and what better way to, to do that than to not even just see the company as a brand, but to see it as, as the people that are working hard behind the brand. So that's been the result for us. Yeah. Um, and we, we, I guess we will share uh, soon the stats of, you know, these articles, you know, how in the, the videos, so we can, you know, share those numbers. Uh, what, I, what I can say, what, one stat I can share just in terms of our traffic is, uh, I, I, I believe it's, it's at least a 20% or no, um, sorry, a 10% week over week increase in the, in the number of unique visitors coming to our website. And I think even just last week alone, we just, uh, since we or rather from one week where we weren't doing it. And then we started, I think two or two weeks ago, it was, a we saw triple the number of people actually contacting us. So that gives you an idea, but, uh, you know, go back and write those stats down for the future. Yeah. And the next strategy that we're going to review is develop and launch your tripwire upsells and affiliate marketing too, but, uh, prioritize on your trip wire. Uh, I find this particularly interesting because, you know, I see trip wires in our uh, every day, you know, in our routines, in our lives. And, you know, like we are uh, setting up an example of Costco, like who doesn't go shopping, who doesn't go to a supermarket, to Costco. And, you know, there are trip wires there, you know, there are upsells there, you know, there are people, you know, offering free samples of, you know, of food and, you know, like it, it's, it's amazing how, you know, like something so small as a trip wire, you know, can change your whole numbers for your company. Um, so what can you add uh, for that strategy? Yeah. And, and that's uh, another area that we've seen in inc uh, significant growth in, in recent weeks, you know, partially from, from the videos and putting out quality content as we were just discussing with the previous strategy. But we've seen an, uh, a number of more people buying our um, less expensive uh, products. So we, we sell, we don't really link to it in our navigation. Uh, it's autogrow.co forward slash products if you want to check it out. Uh, because we used to be just, you know, a products focused company in terms of offering tools, templates, and online trainings. Uh, but we've since, you know, been offering a, a done for you uh, service. Um, but we still do sell if anyone wants to check that out. And, and those have kind of served as a tripwire for our done for you service because people might say, well, you know, Autogrow is charging $9.99 per month for done for you service. And okay, that's like a, a pretty like fair price and it's unlimited. Like, oh man, like everything's included. But 
you know, hmm, like, let me, let, is, there, is there a way for me to kind of test drive auto grow and, and what they can do for me and just kind of, I don't know, validate that they know what they're doing, they know what they're talking about. And so for us, uh, the tripwire in, in this sense has been those less expensive products anywhere from ranging anywhere from like $7 up to uh, $800 for our more, most premium training. And, and those are one-time purchases. And a lot of people just come in and they say, okay, like I want to try out one of these things just to kind of sample auto grow and what they can do for me. Because, and, and then we found that those uh, customers and students of those training products are much, much more likely to want to do business with us on one of the uh, subscription packages because there's an association that's formed where, okay, I spent a little bit of money and I got significant value uh, versus, okay, next step. Well, if I spend more money with auto grow, I'm likely to get much more value. And then that just kind of opens the door a bit more for, for the relationship to grow from, from that standpoint. Okay. So, um, and then specifically, I would say, you know, uh, our official tripwire has always been the $7 uh, swipe, swipe file. And that, I, I think that we published back in uh, 2018 that, 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 uh, those, thousands of sales that we made of the, of the tripwire have literally led to tens of thousands of dollars in revenue uh, as a result of just selling uh, that $7 trip, uh, tripwire. So this goes to show you that tripwire, especially now more than ever when people are uh, a little fearful and things are a little uncertain, you know, offering something uh, that's a bit, you know, lower end in terms of price, uh, less expensive, can go a long way towards building trust. Mm, that's great. Uh, so before we wrap up, which uh, is your favorite strategy? Which is my favorite strategy? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm definitely uh, a systems guy, so I have to go with, uh, with number two, setting up weekly funnel marketing systems, not goals. Because okay. I, I think it's, it's relatively... Uh, it's a little bit cheating because it's kind of all-encompassing to a lot of these other strategies that we're talking about. But if I had to double down on one thing, that would that would be it. Okay, thank you, Matt. Um, if you wanna add something else uh, to the interview, uh, feel free to do it. But you know, thanks for your time. Thanks for explaining me again. You know, everything that we researched uh, together for the article. Um, it's really great. Yep, and thanks, thanks for. Uh, uh, collaborating on, on this article with the research and everything. And I'll just finish on this note for anyone watching to the end. Uh, awesome. I hope, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please share it, bookmark it, download a copy of it for your, your reference. Uh, and do take action because action is what is ultimately going to get you results. And I'll conclude on this. You know, if you are looking to delegate all of your digital marketing tasks without the high cost of hiring, then check out Autogrow. Go to autogrow.co. You can sign up risk-free for 30 days. This is a new special that we have going on, risk-free, 100% uh, satisfaction guarantee um, in your first 30 days uh, or your money back. And that's just because we're confident that you're going to love you know, signing up, uh, using the Autogrow app just to type out, literally just get work done by like clicking and, and typing out uh, some text. And then it's instantly delegated to Autogrow and we just get it done for you. It doesn't matter you know, what tools you're working with, we can integrate with you. And it doesn't matter pretty much what you're looking to accomplish, we can get it done for you. Whether you're looking to build an entire sales funnel or something as simple as just, just get some, uh, some ads up and running you know, for a basic uh, marketing campaign or maybe rewriting some headlines or redesigning something. All right, we can, we can help you and you can delegate all of your digital marketing tasks without the high cost of hiring. So check it out, autogrow.co. And thank uh, you, Matt. Thank you very much. Bye.